Greetings, unsettled souls! That's right, friends, you are watching the correct views, and you are going to be astonished. It's me and Christelle here on Melatonin Mondays. We have some wise <laughs> words from Nancy Pelosi, Christelle. Have you heard about this? Yes, I have. Listen to this, friends. I don't know how many of you know this. A lot. Of, how many of you go to movies? I, you, she took me to Beauty and the Beast twice. 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 Listen to this, friends. Well, this is very important because this could save you a lot of trouble. A wolf? Wait, you're not allowed to cry. What was that? Because the Constitution does not say that a person can shout wolf in a crowd. Wolf. Are you allowed to shout kangaroo? I mean, I'm saying, friends, I don't want... To, it took me a very long time to realize what she had confused. I couldn't figure out why she was talking about a wolf. And as you can see by the byline here, I had written this for the Conservative Daily Post. I had no idea what she was talking about. Christelle, did you, did you figure it out right away? Or do you, you still... Uh, I, I, I think I know what she meant. You're not allowed to cry wolf. If something I, isn't happening, but... I really think that she probably meant to say fire? So Maybe? You, you, I think you might be allowed to say fire. I think it's a wolf that you're not allowed to say. And, you know, and friends, if, she, if, if it comes down the road that she has Alzheimer's or dementia, and I, I'll actually take all these jokes back. Otherwise, friends, I can't figure out what she's doing. Um, I... I I don't know. Maybe we can holler zebra. I, and no one is quite sure what is wrong with House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. She's locked up when her battery, like her batteries were dying. We've covered that on here. With the, uh, uh, on here before that she does. Uh, she called a black man a white supremacist and even proclaimed that you cannot yell wolf in a crowded theater. Now, I have to ask how can Ben Carson... Hey, Christelle, do you know that Ben Carson's black? Really? She had mentioned that the, the people in the Trump administration, including Ben Carson, were white supremacists. It says, Pelosi's at it again. Today, the Free Beacon reports, and I wrote this, that the leader was praising her party's divisive log jamming when she proclaimed that Democrats had won every fight against Republicans. She forgot, of course, about the four special elections that Democrats spent $35 million on only to lose to Republican candidates. Friends, listen to this. Listen to what she says. It's only a minute. The party is in such disarray right now, crisis after crisis. Nonetheless, the, Republic, the Democratic Party does not seem to have been able to capitalize on the problems... Now listen to what she says. All right, now let's, let's, let's pay attention to what she just said was a success here. First of all, that's only half true, I wrote. After the Paris Accord thankfully went the way of the, stra of the uh, Stegosaurus, and outsourcing has slowed, both things opposed by Democrats. However, the second point here is where she is openly bragging about not working to unite the country. Oh, there she is. I think she might be here. Uh, this was condemned as partisan politics when the shoe was on the other foot, which wasn't helpful for the average American either. I wrote, the Republican Party is in such disarray right now, crisis after crisis. Nonetheless, the Democratic Party does not seem to have been able to capitalize on the problems that you are facing, she said. We've beaten them in appropriations, said Pelosi to Crown reporter Pam Moore. Here she is bragging about spending everyone's money. Uh, appropriations is the money that they appropriate for other things, Christelle. She's bragging about the fact that she has spent your tax dollars in ways that people that didn't want to spend as much didn't. Mm. That's right. Because the Constitution does not say that a person can shout, yell, wolf in a crowded theater. 
We've won every fight. The president's numbers are in the high 30s, which for the new president is remarkable to be so low. He is making his own case, said the California liberal. While this is only partially true, Trump's numbers have sagged to whatever degree over the lies that the media said regarding, uh, regarding him, not about anything that he's actually done. The American people see for themselves that he does not share their values and that he does not, some say, have voted for him are now rethinking about it. Um, now, now, Nancy, does that look like a sane person to you? Would you buy a car off of her? No. Nancy Pelosi here, quite out there, and uh, Christelle, like, looking... I, you, know, you know, I don't know. I mean, it looks like somebody that might cry zebra in a crowded theater. Um, the, somehow the fact that Trump has seen over one million new jobs added since he took office in only eight months is lost on these people. I wrote. Do you realize that, Christelle, he created eight million new jobs since he's been here? Um, I want to get to this just real quick before I get off. Uh, Nancy Pelosi calls minorities white supremacists. Listen to this, friends. Um, a Patriot rally scheduled in San Francisco is being blocked by Nancy Pelosi, House Minority Leader, who called the meeting a white supremacist event. Now, I don't know if you guys can see very well here. I know, I know that the iPhone isn't all that great of a camera, but... Does that look like a white man to you, Christelle? No, he does not. Not right. even in the iPhone. No, not yeah, that's, that's astounding, actually. Um, the rally's organizer is named Joey Gibson, and he joined Tucker Carlson, watch how you say that, to confirm that it has nothing to do with white supremacy, and that only one of the eight planned speakers is white. <clears throat> it's worse than crying wolf. It's really just what's on the inside, what you believe, your heart, your soul. It's nothing to do with skin color, Gibson said. He added, I can give you my word that we aren't going to allow any white supremacists in. We're not going to let any Nazis in. In fact, our speakers will be very upset because they're all of color. We have any Nazis or white supremacists there, they're not going to be very happy. Uh, speaking about Pelosi, he said what she's doing is making it more dangerous for San Francisco, for, for San Francisco, San Francisco. She's trying to rile up her citizens so they'll come down and chase us out and it's going to create more violence. And what have we seen, Christelle? More violence has been happening the entire time as a result of shutting down a peaceful prayer rally. I go to Infowars.com. They were actually beating Christians in the street mere days ago while the police did absolutely nothing about it. And if that doesn't give you nightmares, nothing will, friends. That is Melatonin Monday. Uh, two things we want to remind you here. First of all, that you can donate to the show at the correct views at hotmail.com by donating through PayPal. And second of all, we want to remind you that whatever you do, do not, under any circumstances, cry wolf in a crowded theater.